Hello everyone, this is your Sunday evening CARAQE.com webcast. Here's Chris Gilson with a quick look at the forecast. It was another windy day and it's going to stay on the breezy side as we head into the overnight. Tonight temperatures slightly cooler than they were last night, dipping into the upper 40s, lower 50s around the metro. As we head into your Monday, it's going to be windy once again with a high fire danger. A chance for spotty showers over the north continues through Tuesday as a backdoor cold front moves through the area on Tuesday. That'll keep winds on the breezy side. The winds do come down uh, Wednesday and it gets warmer. It'll feel like summer by the middle of the week. The man accused of stabbing his cousin over a poker game found himself going back to jail this morning. Lewis Maxwell was in court on an aggravated battery with a deadly weapon charge, accused of stabbing his cousin Stephen Stewart. According to a criminal complaint, the two got into an argument when Maxwell's 14-year-old son won a poker game. When Maxwell was giving Stewart a ride home, Stewart allegedly punched Maxwell's wife. Deputies say Maxwell pulled into a gas station at Golf Course in Paradise, and the fight was on. Now, it ended when Maxwell pulled out a knife, stabbing Stewart in the face and stomach, according to deputies. Today, Maxwell found out his bond was being increased, and he was going back to jail. Do you have to go into custody? Yes, sir. I can't lose my job on this. I can't afford to lose my job, sir. The allegations based on the complaint are serious enough that I think a higher bond is required. You're not going to talk about the case. The judge raised Maxwell's bond to $25,000. As for Stewart, he was taken to UNM Hospital and is expected to survive. When he's released, he is expected to also face battery charges. A massive tax package passed by state lawmakers to help spur job growth seems to be doing its job. According to the Albuquerque Journal, Economic Development Secretary John Barella says that the package saved 1,500 jobs and another 200 jobs are expected to be created in the next several months. The package cut the state's corporate income tax rate to 5.9 percent. It also included an expansion of the film tax credit for qualifying television shows filmed right here in New Mexico. But Senator Jacob Candelaria, an Albuquerque Democrat, says he's skeptical of the job retention claims. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Crystal Gutierrez. Thanks for logging on.